Hi, I'm Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter. I'm referred to as the Big Game Hunter because I coach people to play their game big. And I apologize for being here a little late. I frankly got caught up in editing a resume and suddenly looked at my clock and said, my goodness, two minutes after 12, I'm normally starting by this time. So for those of you who don't know, I do no, no BS job search advice and no BS coaching advice. Monday through Friday at noon Eastern on blab.im. If you have a question about job hunting, if you'd like some business or personal coaching, you come and visit me at noon Eastern, 11 Central, 10 Mountain, 9 Pacific, and we can go through a coaching session here. I spend no more than 30 minutes. It is a fun process for folks. Uh, you can come back as often as you like. And I'll coach the heck out of you so you can play bigger. So again, Monday through Friday at noon Eastern on blab.im. Jeff Waldman, the big game hunters, and it'll say no BS job search advice or no BS coaching advice. Now, I got here late. I see some people came and went. My apologies to those of you who did. And I'll simply say that I've been trying to do a a blab or a video about this topic for a while. And I've been technology challenged. Yesterday I tried to do this. People said they couldn't hear. My video is littered with comments about, um, I, I appear to be recording. I appear to have audio. And at the end of the day, I did have audio, but folks couldn't hear me here. So uh, I'm going to take another shot at this, except I'm going to expand it beyond the job hunter model and talk with you from a small business per perspective. Or, um, well, let's just stick with those two for today. Generally, what I found uh, over the course of my years coaching and living life is most people have been conditioned to play small ball. By small ball, you know, to live inside certain confinements that they've been conditioned to believe are all that's good for them. And they never push the envelope for themselves. The result winds up being, you know, a life that's unfulfilled. You know, you live with uh, a task list, a to-do list of things that you have to do that's you'll never get done. Because as soon as you finish four, another 10 pop up. It's a frustrating life. And as I've said many times, from the time that we're little and we're conditioned to sit at a desk and do what we're told, or else we won't get into the school that we want, to the time we get into that college and we're told sit at your desk and regurgitate what we tell you to do, uh, to regurgitate what we tell you to think so that in this way you'll get out and get a good job until the time we get that good job, you know, 20 years of our lives may go by. And we wake up one day and realize, is that all there really is? It's very much out of the factory floor, uh, the shop floor, where people were told, take that one screw put it into the hole that's there when it goes by, do it within five seconds or else, well, or else. So it's no wonder that so many people are unhappy. Excuse me, I'm have a quick sip of tea. Now, I wanna ask you a provocative question. And that is, if you thought of your life as a game, what game would you be playing? What's the thing that you need to explore right now and improve upon in order to be more fulfilled? Now, I don't want you to think in terms of a task. I don't want you to think, well, I've, I've got to do my laundry. My laundry is the most important thing to me. Nonsense. Because when you think of playing bigger, how would the world be improved if you did your laundry? So I want you to really think on a, a life's purpose kind of scale. Think really big. If you thought of your life as a game, what would your big game be? And if you did this, if you did the various steps to become this, how would the world be different? How would things change if you did this? Now, I'm not talking about billions of dollars, although 
that's a great byproduct of many of the things you'll wind up thinking of doing. But if you thought of life as this game, how might the world change? How might things be different in your community if you did this thing? And what's at risk for you to do this? You know, what's the challenge for you that evokes fear and that's holding you back in doing this? Interesting questions, aren't they? And most people never take the time to think beyond, I'm going to my job, I'm going to come home, I'm going to watch TV after I have dinner and fall asleep. Yeah. It's no wonder people ask, is that all there is? Because it doesn't really sound interesting, does it? Doesn't sound exciting. And then one day you wake up and you're in your 60s or your 70s. 70s, I'm not my 70s, I'm in my 60s. And you start to realize that a lifetime is not a long time. Catch that one. A lifetime is not a long time. We may like to think of ourselves as immortal, but life is a way of showing us how foolish we are to hold that belief. So start with that. Start with these questions that I've posed here. If you thought about your life as a game, what would your big game be? And eventually, this is going to be the last question I'm going to offer up for today. How could you bring the spirit of play into this? How might you have some fun? How might you evoke some curiosity in yourself to light up your life once more? See, again, one of the things that happens to us as we get older is we get dulled out. And unfortunately, one of the tendencies of people who do repetitive work is it's one of the circumstances that seems to bring on Alzheimer's. You know, if you think about it, if you hit the, I'm, I'm going to age myself here or date myself. If you think of what records used to be like, they had grooves on them, right? And then a needle of some sort would be going around repeatedly. And slowly but surely, the grooves would turn into ruts and the sound would dissipate and the record would fail. It's invariably what happened. Well, the same thing happens to us as humans, apparently, as well. And if we keep doing the same repetitive things over and over again, in that sort of mindless way that eventually we get involved with, this tends to bring on the onset of Alzheimer's. We don't want that for anyone. So I just want to encourage you. Spend some time thinking of creative ways to answer those questions. Play big. Get huge for a moment. Throw your chest back. Stretch your arms. Really get forceful with yourself. And answer the questions that I post. Start taking individual actions on a recurring basis to get the results that you want in your life and in the world as well. You will find when you make change, other people will change as well. And the world, your world, may wind up being an extremely different place. Let me just take a quick look. No one has joined me today. So I'll simply say my name is Jeff Altman. I'm the big game hunter. I want to help you play big. Visit me on blab.im Monday through Friday at noon for no more than 30 minutes. Today it's going to be 12. If no one joins me, I jump off after a, a, a little coaching tip. And I'll also say, if we're not connected on LinkedIn, send a connection request to linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Last point, if you'd like to do one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, you can do it for an hour. You can schedule four sessions. Find out about that on my website, thebiggamehunter.us. Look for the tabs on top. I'd be very happy to help you. Hope you have a great day. Take care.